Uh, but this sounds all right. So we can definitely proceed. Now, I had a little accident last Monday and my hard drive crashed. And I didn't lose a lot. I had most everything backed up, but the one thing I lost was the note that said what problem we left off on. So we're going to have to kind of, I guess I could look at, at the recording of your last session, but let's see if we can figure it out by just scrolling down. I know it was in the 20s, wasn't it? I think so. It was yeah. after that crash. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I know it's slow. We did this one also, this, this one with all of the H's. Okay. Yeah, it's point slope format. We did not do that. Correct. Let's talk about the two formats. There's slope intercept, which is y equal mx plus b. And then there's point slope. And point slope notice how you can actually remember point slope. If I divide both sides by this, I get slope equals the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. Rise over run. Okay, so when you have to recreate this general format, know that it better end up with M being the difference in the Y's divided by the difference in the X's. Now, point slope can be more advantageous. If I told you that I've got a line whose slope is 2, and it goes through the point 1 comma 3, I don't need to solve for B. In other words, if, if the question is put it into point slope format, I can do it immediately. What would it be? What would a line that has this slope and goes through this point what would its equation be in point slope format? Uh, y equals two. Oh, hold on. X. Hold on. Let's use y minus oh, y one. That's the point slope format that we're going to put this into. Okay. So it's uh, y minus what? What is y sub one? Equals, equals the slope two, two times x. x minus 1. And that's the final answer. In other words, you do not manipulate this further. If they ask for it in point slope format, this is a very acceptable answer. You don't have to, okay. dis you don't have to distribute the 2 and move the 3 over. Now, if they ask for it in slope-intercept format, well, that, yeah, then I would do that. But it depends on what format they ask for it in. So let's look at 25. Okay, I'm going to erase that. So 25 is a problem just like we just had. They give us the slope, and they tell us a point that the line goes through. So what is its point-slope? equation of the line. Uh, y minus 4? It's minus a minus. So plus 4 equals 5 thirds times x plus 3. Twenty-six. Find the slope and the coordinates of a point. For that, in other words, this is doing it the reverse. They're giving us the equation of the line in point-slope format. So, what's the slope? One-third. What's the point that it's going through? Um. Well, oh 
Always give the x coordinate yeah. first. No. Negative five. Comma. Comma. Right. Find the equation 27. Find the equation that goes through that point that has a slope of zero. Oh, no? so the y minus two. Equals just, just plug it plug it in when you're not when you're not quite sure what to do let's just write it like they've given it to us okay now zero times anything is what zero now that could be our answer certainly since the whole topic here is point-slope, that's in point-slope format. But it also becomes y equal 2. Remember that slopes of 0 are horizontal lines. And horizontal lines are always y equals some number. And the number is always going to be the y point that it goes through. So you could, once we see the slope is zero, then we immediately know y equals two is the equation of that one. Okay. Now, on number 28, they don't give us the slope. They give us two points. So what do we have to do first? Uh, we have to find the slope first. Okay. What's the slope? Um, it'd be... Uh, wait, it's, it'd be 5 minus 5. Hold on. Oh. It's always rise over run. It's not run over rise. Rise is always the difference in the y coordinates. Okay. So then the negative 11 minus 3. So negative 14 divided by what? Over zero. What kind of slope um, is that? When you divide uh, by zero, that is an undefined slope, which is what kind okay. of a line? Uh, that must vertical mean, line. A vertical line uh, has an yeah. undefined slope. So we know it's a vertical line. So what's the equa equations of all vertical lines are x equals some number. Well, what's the number? Would it be negative 14? No. What x value, both points, go through an x coordinate oh. of 5? So the equation of the right. line has to be x equal 5. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah, interesting. I hadn't. I don't usually read the stuff in between the problems, but this is interesting because they actually gave you the point-slope format before the slope-intercept format. Notice the next part is now we're going to deal with slope-intercept format. Well, you've had enough slope-intercept format in your life that you know slope-intercept format. So let's immediately go to the problem. 29. First, you know, if you don't know where to begin a problem, always always write the general form of the equation that you're trying to solve for. Okay, in other words, we want to end up with an answer where we have an equation like that, only we have a number for the slope and we have a number for b. Well, what's the slope? Um, Number 29, read the problem. Oh, okay, so we know this much. We know y equals negative 2x plus some b that we don't know yet. 
Now, for me to come up with the final equation, I got to solve for B. How can I solve for B? Uh, replace Y with B. Not B. Y from the replace Y and X with this point that they gave us. Okay. In other words, when you're when you have an equation of a line, for a point to be on that line, it has to satisfy the equation. So I can always take any point on the line and substitute it for y and x. So what's the next thing I should write? Um, 1 equals negative 2 times negative 2 times 5 plus b. Okay. Now solve that for b. So then, 11 equals B. And now what's the final equation? Uh, y equals negative 2x plus 11. Correct. Notice that it's a little harder than if I had used point slope. Notice that if I had, in other words, when I have to put it in slope intercept, I got to solve for B. I mean, I actually don't. I could have used point slope. Watch how easy, how much easier point slope is. Well, I know it's Y minus 1 equals minus 2 times 5, excuse me, times X minus 5, right? That's point slope format. Now, if I solve this and I just convert it, in other words, distribute the minus 2, so I got minus 2x plus 10 equals y minus 1. Now move the 1 over, and I get the same equation I got when I had to go through the process of solving for b. In other words, that's going to give you the same equation. These formats don't produce different equations. They just are different formats. But there is a slight advantage in using point slope. I didn't have to solve for B. But I did have to do the algebra and take and distribute the minus 2 and then move the 1 over. But they don't really want you to use the point slope format in this set of questions. They specifically want you to use slope intercept. So we'll do it the hard way. So I don't know that it's necessarily hard. It's just a little different. I'm not sure there's fewer calculations or not. So write number 30 in slope-intercept format. It's first step. Okay, so that would be... Uh, so that would be uh, y equals negative 2x plus 11. Well, we, want the, we, we want the final line to be y equals something, right? And we want the x to be the first thing with its slope. So let's try to take this equation and make it end up looking y equals something. Well, so what do I got to do with that 3x? Uh, take the slope and multiply it. Got to move it yeah, to the other side. Yeah. How do I do that? You just subtract it. Subtract it, not add. Okay, so after I subtract 3x from both sides, what's the next line? Uh, so it would be negative 7y equals negative 3x plus 4. Yeah, and we put it in front because we know we're trying to get to this format. I'm not, I don't want b plus mx, I want mx plus b. Now what's the next step? Um, divide it by... So what's the next line read? So y equals three over seven x plus four over seven. Plus four? 
It's no, going to be it's going to be four over minus seven, right? which is minus four-sevenths. You see why it's minus four-sevenths? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could say plus a minus, but you don't ever want to write it like that. You want to, When you have a plus and a minus next to one another, it's a minus. Okay, and now we've got it in perfect slope-intercept format. It's called slope intercept format because we got a slope and we got a y intercept. So it would be relatively easy to graph. It's easier to graph lines when they're in slope intercept format rather than point slope. Okay? Because you always have a starting spot. If I want to graph this, I'll start at minus four sevenths. Then I'll apply the slope to get a second point, and then I'll draw a straight line between my two points. On number 31, what's the y-intercept? What do we have? What do we have to do to figure it out? Yeah, we're going to try to put it into MX plus B format, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do to figure out the Y-intercept. Now, what's the Y-intercept going to be? Eight. Divided by Eight. five. Eight over five. Right. In other words, I just didn't do the last step. Notice that I don't care what the slope is. They didn't ask about slope. The only thing they asked for was the Y-intercept but you have to always do that last step. In other words, that is not in slope-intercept format, but this is. All right, let's have a look at the next three problems. Let's see. Ah, three points on the same line, okay. Interesting. I don't get a lot of that. I bet you've not ever had that in your algebra class either. I have not. <laughs> so, how are we going to do this? First of all, the slope of a straight line is the same no matter where you're looking at it. Right? Mm -hmm. In other words... If I have a straight line, and there's three points on that straight line, what is true about the slope between A and B? It's the same as the slope between B and C, right? So, let's figure out the slope between the first and third point. In other words, what's the slope of this line? Well, I got two points. So I can figure out slope. What is it? It would be 1 minus 4 okay. over 6 plus 4. Which is? Uh, negative 3 over 10. Okay. Now, let's figure out... I know what the slope is between those two points, right? Mm -hmm. So, slope, first of all, is negative three-tenths, and that's equal to what? Using these two points right here. <laughs> Write it out exactly as you did up here. Only use Y instead of that point. Okay, so negative three tenths is equal to y minus four. Y sub one two. minus four. Y sub one minus four. Over. Over two plus four. Okay. Now we've got an equation that only has one variable. So let's first of all turn that into a six. Now the what's the easiest way to solve for y? Um, 
Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Always remember that when you've got a fraction equals another fraction, which is what we have here, the easiest thing to do is cross multiply. In other words, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. And 10 times this is 10 y sub 1 minus 40. You see what I did? Okay, now solve for y sub 1. Um, so add 40 to the other side. Okay, that makes it 22. And then divide by 10. Okay, so now we have 22 tenths. Is that the answer? Yes. It is, but it's not simplified. You would, so the, you um, would lose points if you gave this as an answer. Always. All fractions you want to simplify. Well, when you have an even number divided by an even number, you always know it can be simplified. In other words, you can always divide top and bottom by 2. Yeah. So that becomes what? 11 over 5. Okay. And that would be a perfect answer. You'd get some credit for that, but I'll bet you'd lose a point. All right, Madison, I don't think we quite have enough time to do 33, but I believe you can see that we're going to use exactly the same method. In other words, we're going to find the slope between this point and this point, come up with a number, set that number equal to the slope between the middle point and either of the other two. In other words, I didn't have to go from the middle to the first. I could have also solved the problem by comparing this middle point to the point on the right. The thing to realize is that the slope between any two of these three points is the same. Whether I'm talking about the slope between A and B, A and C, or B and C, they're all the same number. And that's going to allow us to solve for X sub 1. Okay. okay, I will make another note that we got through 33, and this hope time, hopefully this time my hard drive won't get crashed. I haven't okay. lost a hard drive in 25 years. I didn't think they ever went bad anymore. But trust me, they do, and it's not pretty when they do. Madison, I'll talk to you tomorrow night. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.